I'm gonna make you a proposition. Since you're with Karstag, let us proceed with the shorter and more pleasant version of the test. Then welcome to one and its kind Arukan special magical quiz. When you have to answer 20 questions, you can fail, but you will be graded upon your answer. The more correct answers you give, the greater the reward, but the more mistakes you make, the better the punishment. That's a win-win situation, both for you, because you get rewards, and for me, because I literally love administering pain. Let us proceed with the first question. All of you can answer at the same time, but remember, only the first question counts. You make a mistake, suddenly, that's a point down. You save me a good answer. That's one point up, but watch out. There are three questions involved, and I am impartial. I can tell you which of those are tricky. Arukan is a wise and merciful wizard, which is why each of the questions give you 30 seconds to answer. If you wish to back out, I am sorry you can't. First question, let's start with something easy. The spell of magic missile can be blocked by another spell. What spell is it? Ooh, I know this one. Me too. What is what is Glock? Stop. Oh, okay. Shield. Yeah, shield. Shield sparrow. Shield sparrow. Shield sparrow. That's correct. Ding 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 ding. One point for you. Yeah, that ruin used that on me. Wasted a whole magic missile on me. Uh, I think we should specify it's a spare if it's a sparrow an item. All right. Yeah. Second question. Can the spell of fireball be cast and spread under water? Ooh. I think I know. Go ahead, Mullen. I think it's yes, because it depends on the description of the spell. Because if there's no description that say that it doesn't work that way, then it doesn't work. Uh, ring ding ding ding, that is correct, Mulvan, as I've overheard your name. The spell of fireball creates magical fire, not a standard fire. It can spread underwater. It is a point for you, my friend. Exactly. That's why, that's why it spells like uh, entangled don't get burned by fire if it, if it gets hit by fire, anything flammable. Interesting. Question, question three. Can a sorcerer, who is also a warlock, sacrifice the sorcery points to recover warlock spell slots? Audio jungle. I don't know anything about this. The time is ticking. No. Depend on the dungeon master, but... <laughs> I'm listening. What's a dungeon master? Right, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. This doesn't sound right. Let's go with let's go with no. Unfortunately, oh. it is possible for a sorcerer to use sorcery points to restore warlock spell slots. Why? Because both the warlock and the sorcerer use the same spell slots, which is a resource. The only difference is that a warlock cannot use different spell slots to cast spells which are not warlock out, spells. Out of character, I know this, but Mulvin does not know this. Bro. <laughs> Don't worry, there are still few questions. Can you detect a mimic posing as a chest with a spell of locate object? Mm, I have the spell, uh, mm. I never used it before? That's the thing though, I have never used this, uh, locate object before. Wouldn't it just I, come I, up? I, locate object locates objects. 
a mimic is a creature. Yes. But if the object is within the creature, I think object, a locate object will still work. Well, it would locate the object, but it wouldn't detect a mimic. Yeah. So if you were trying to locate a chest, the one right in front of you wouldn't one be detected. Effect. Because he is not a creature. Because it is a creature, sorry. Is your answer yes or no? I... I... I think it's yes. Yeah. What, what you think, I think? Yes? Uh, yes. Yeah. Wait. I the don't wording think of, so. What was the wording of the question? Okay. Yeah, what was the you wording of the question? You look at an object. Uh, uh, a specific uh, object. Mimic. Specific object okay. known to you. Mimic is not an object, it's a creature. Yeah, I would given say that no. wording, I, I, I would, would say, I would no. say no. No. You, if you were looking for a chest, you would find the chest with locate object, but you would have no idea if it's yeah, a mimic. Yeah. yeah. No, it's no. no. This answer is correct. Yeah. You get one point out of possible two, as it was a trick question. <laughs> you could have got an extra point if you were to tell that. While well, no, locate object would not tell you that the chest in front of you is a mimic. But if it were to tell you that, wouldn't it make it obvious that it is in fact a mimic, since it is not a chess? That's what Kira was saying. <clears throat> but you still get a positive point. Congratulations! Let's move to the next question, shall we? Can you use Absorb Elements spell to gain resistance to Thunder Damage? I look at Agent. <laughs> I look at Mulvin. I look at Mulvin. Uh, I don't think so. I have never used it against Thunder. So, no. I'm going to say yes, because the, those are the, the non elemental damage types are like psychic, necrotic, force. Thunder. Oh. A split voice. Problems in the paradise, perhaps? Which one is it? Wait, so the question is, can absorb elements be used to grant thunder. resistance to thunder damage? Indeed. The answer is yes. Did it incorrect? You can, in fact, absorb thunder damage. With the Absorb Element spells. You're climbing up fast, but not fast enough. Let's see if you can keep up. You cast Fog Cloud centered on an enemy 30 feet away from you. Are you also in the Fog Cloud? You said 30 feet away? Uh, fog yes. Cloud, fog Cloud is like 20 feet 20 radius, feet. isn't it? I think so. Yeah, it's like 20 feet radius, so you'll be outside the fog cloud. V -v -v very nice! That is a correct answer! Next question then. Can magical items be destroyed? Yes. It depends on the... It, de it depends. It depends. A magical item is no stronger than the material out of which it is made. And the item it's based on, except for artifacts. Yeah. Correct! And the next question was, can artifacts be destroyed? But you've already answered this one too, I'll grant you a double point for that one! Yay. Ooh, we're doing good! Yay! Now, now. Another question, quite a hard one. Does the spell of sleep work on the magical golems? I, I don't have this spell. I never used it before. Magical golem. A parsec? I don't think it works on constructs. I don't believe it works on constructs. I mean, yeah. it's not a thing. It really doesn't yeah. make sense it would go to sleep. It'd be like a robot. Yeah, yeah. A, 
Let's say no. Yeah, let's say no. Alright, so... Yes. Which one is it? No. Could you say the question again, please? Does the spell what? of sleep work on magical golems? No. It, it doesn't say that the golems are um, immune to sleep. It just says it doesn't need to sleep. And aren't all golems magic? It doesn't work on constructs, though. Is a golem a construct? Is it a yes or is it a no? You have ten more seconds to decide. I will say no. 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 Did it unfortunately the answer is yes. It is a magical slumber that not necessarily makes creatures go asleep. It makes them be immobilized. Magic fueled creatures are not immune to this effect. Mm. Mm -hmm. no. Now, a little harder question, which might require the knowledge of the outer planes, you magic casters. Often in the spell books, you'll find spells created by such spell casters as Mordecainen, Bigby, like Bigby's hand, Drimwitch, like his instant summons, Leomant, like his tiny hat, Nistol, like his aura, Otto, like his irresistible dance, and Tensor, like Tensor's transformation. The question is, do you know what organization joins those legendary magicians? i let you know this question is worth double. I don't know. Out of character, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm stuck. Organization, magic organizations. Uh, the Strixhaven College? Is it, is it the Wizards of the Coast? <laughs> there is no shame at not knowing the answer. You also do not lose any points for that, for it was a specially difficult one placed by Arukan himself. The answer is the Circle of Eight. It is known in all the realms. Thank you, music. That was nice of you. Another question, halfway there. Can the spell of Continuum Flame ignite objects? No. That's correct, for it is an illusory flame. Yeah, I, I know this spell, even though I never no. prepare it. Another one. If a spell of mirror image causes your foe to miss you, can you choose? To take a hit instead of making the strike hit one of your mirror images. No. No. That is correct, for it is automatic. Nice thinking there. Bear with me, only few questions remain. A paladin's aura has a radius of 20 feet. Does it affect a creature standing in another room 10 feet away from the paladin, provided that there is exactly a 7.5 inch wall between the two? I have a question. Is the ra it, so the aura is a radius, is that it? Yes. It will, I will say no because, like, then it, I will say no because remember when I cast uh, Mass Cure Wounds? It, it can't go through walls. I think it would be the same case here. That is correct! Doesn't matter what the spell says, unless it specifies it works through walls, it will not work. Exactly, that had my unicorn code didn't work on math. And that was a trick question, worth two points, because Paladin's aura are also 
register as magical abilities. Next question. The spell of freedom of movement prevents a creature from its movement being reduced. Does a stunned condition which says clearly that it limits movement affect that creature? It... I would say no. Yeah, uh, only paralyze and difficult terrain. Yeah. yeah. At least but freedom of it... movement also negates paralysis. Yeah, uh, because... If, it's, it's, not... if, it, if it's magical. It, it has to be magical. Yeah, it depends on if it's magical or not, and I don't believe it works on stun. Yeah, stun is overpower. This answer is correct! And it was also a trick question! For I did not mention anything about physical or magical means! You've earned two points! I will point out uh, an expert of stunning people here. <laughs> <laughs> expert. <laughs> expert. Not export. Expert! Very few questions remain. Okay. Can you bear with the next one? A werewolf is neither a human nor a wolf. Can a spell of polymorph change the shape of the werewolf into that of a wolf so it may not revert into its other shapes until the spell ends? No, he cannot. Werewolf or shape changer. Congratulations! Another trick question to you! That's another two points! You're going faster than the storm! Oh, I did not know this actress! Um... <laughs> out of character, I'm playing a werewolf. <laughs> Another campaign. Uh, Jeremiah know about this. <laughs> yeah. Are we getting to the last few? The difficulty will increase steadily. So, keep your eyes open and ears stretched wide. When a summoned creature is whisked away in an area restricted by the absence of magic, does it return to the place where it was summoned from? Can you repeat the, can you repeat the question? <laughs> when a summoned creature enters an area restricted by the absence of magic, does it return to the play where it was summoned from? No, it would be suspended. That is correct! It appears that you, sir, might be a summoner. It took you no time to answer this question. Yeah, it happened to me before. Alright, we're getting to the tricky ones now. If an undead creature died less than a minute ago, would the spell of Revivify cause it to animate again, even though it is considered an undead creature? No. Uh, uh, Revivify work on normal life creatures that died in one minute, approximately. Yeah, an undead was already dead. Yeah. dead. But, yeah. but, but, but remember the time at the at the Zaren Temple that the one the priest cast with Vivify on a on a zombie, right? What? Yeah, but no. it doesn't work yeah, on that... undead. I'm pretty sure. But it, but I remember it came back. I mean, I wasn't in the room, but didn't it Wait. came back? You might have been I mean, I've seen it happen, right? <clears throat> or maybe I misheard. Um. I have some cool stories and then that. Is the answer no or yes? No. Yeah, no. That, no. To be safe, I will say no. no. That is a correct answer. In regular circumstances, you cannot become undead twice. A final question worth five 
points in total. The most tricky, the hardest one I've ever seen and ever made. Are you ready? Yes, that's my final answer. Four magicians meet in a tavern. First one gets drunk and casts fireball in the middle. Second wizard, thanks heaven, is sober. He casts counterspell on the first wizard. Third wizard sadly is also drunk. He casts counterspell to counterspell the second wizard's counterspell. The fourth wizard, thank godness, is still sober. He casts counterspell to counterspell the third wizard's counterspell. In the end, each wizard casts a counterspell, and each counterspell works. But the fireball still explodes, and everyone dies. The question is, why? Do you want me to explain? Yeah. If you can. Yeah. Well, you see, when the wizard, the fourth wizard, counters about the third wizard and counters about the second wizard, all the counter spells have been countered, therefore those, well, the fireball gets through and therefore it kills everyone. How many counter spells are there? Okay, thanks. Huh? What you say, Matt? I can barely hear you. I, I think that was an affirmative. Okay. Uh, I believe. Uh... Mova, I have... if what you, if what you said were true, then the fireball would be unable to be cast. Yeah, what I think is that drunk. The. You can't uh, take your reaction uh, to. The... Mm. Mm. Uh, I, b I believe the first one. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Oh. I get oh. it. The first one. Yeah. Counter each the one. counter spell. Yeah, each wizard casts counter spell. That's correct. Ring, ding, 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 ding. You win the game. It so happens that you may also cast counter spell on your own turn, and thus the wizard could cast fireball counter spell the last counter spell, killing <laughs> everyone. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I just thought. <laughs> you managed to score twenty points in this little game. You are clearly the victor, and just between me and you, you've made it much. Better than the majority of people who made it as far. I believe an award shall be given. Wait, people come here before? Suddenly, the room is filled with amazing force of wind that swells around. All four of the gemstones in the four statues are ripped apart and shattered as they start to create a small tornado of gemstones in the southern part of the room, illuminating what appears to be a silhouette of a snake-like creature with celestial wings. Oh, it's a collab! Oh, no. oh, it is not great in size, but at the end of one of its wings it holds a little microphone. <laughs> Beautiful. You have passed the test. And with flying scores too. Mr. Arukan has created a reward for such witty minds. It says, as the gemstones stop animating and fall to the ground, you notice that they've taken shapes of perfectly cut. Diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds, in total, worth about 2,000 gold pieces. Nice. Oh, we could really use those diamonds. Mm-hmm. And obviously, the road to Arokan, since I believe Karstark wants to speak to him, 
about what happened the last time is now open. What happened last time? We've been here before, Karstad. The like portal swirls around and suddenly, frame by frame, seems to disappear from this plane of existence. 